Good afternoon, Sandy. Afternoon. Sandy, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I'm of um, Scottish origin. Yeah. I've been um, uh, down in the West Country for, oh gosh, um, 25 years. Uh -huh. um, roughly split 50 50 between Cornwall and Devon, but uh, probably prefer Devon actually. Uh, I live up in Dartmoor, in a little village, and um, I'm married with uh, my two children. Yeah. Um, and I've been in the food business all my life. Right, okay. I'm passionate about good food. What, just eating it or...? <laughs> Both. <laughs> eating it and producing it, actually. Right, OK. Um, Can you give a brief uh, overview of your resume, please? Um, yep, yeah, came out of um, university and uh, went into fish farming. Yep. Um, as, a, as a boffin, actually, as a research biologist, and um, quickly moved into the production side. M&S mm -hmm. um, came along, took one look at our farm and said, we'll take all the trout we can produce. So, Built a processing unit, started yeah. producing MS trout, um, and then um, MS wanted this, that, and the next thing if we could do it, so we did it. And yeah. Eventually, the processing side overtook the farming side, yeah. and I moved over onto the processing division, and that's how I got into food processing mm -hmm. as opposed to food growing. Um, although, I must say, I did enjoy fish farming. I mean, the wages were terrible, mm. the lifestyle was great. Right. <laughs> Um, and um, from there I, I moved within the, the seafood industry yeah. um, all by word of mouth um, being sort of headhunted by companies they dealt with um, up to Aberdeen and then from there down to Cornwall yes. and Cornwall to Devon yeah. and latterly um, up to Grimsby with Young's. Mm, excellent. Now you, you've achieved a lot in your career to date. Um, I'd like to, to just try and get a a snapshot of that on, on, on video. Um, you were talking earlier to me about the, uh, the relationships that you've built up with the likes of Sainsbury's, Safeway. Can you talk about those in more <coughs> detail? Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's vitally important if you're, if you're in sales to, to be able to have a very good working relationship with the buyer and the technical mm. teams and what have you within the retailers. If you don't have that, then you get the most fantastic products, great deals, great prices, but mm. if you can't build that relationship, then um, it's difficult. So I pride myself that I've always been able to strike up good working relationships mm. with, with, uh, with customers based on, based on trust, um, based on understanding the customer's aspirations mm -hmm. and blending them with the company I work for's aspirations in terms of margin, and yeah. sales targets and what have you. And um, and being there as well, you know, to, to help the customer, to hold the customer's hand, to direct them. Mm. If if you feel um, the customer's going down a, the wrong route, mm -hmm. then as a responsible supplier, you should be actually pointing that out to them and right. steering them in the right direction that they yes. should be going down. Yeah. Because if they can maximise the sales and margin, you're going to maximise sales and margin. Yeah. Um, so it's um, that's what partnership. All about. Yes, and you've been talking about ethics as well. And ethics, yes. Um, I'm a strong, strong believer in ethical sourcing mm -hmm. of an ethical food production. Mm -hmm. um, I have sat on uh, national advisory committees, um, and government sponsored committees on um, on ethical sourcing and um, discarding and waste and what have you within the food industry. Um, and I wouldn't actually work for anyone who wasn't um, sure. sourcing and sure. producing ethically because I couldn't, I wouldn't have a belief in the product. Yeah, if course. you don't have a belief in the product, yeah. then how can you go out there and be passionate about yeah, selling it yeah. to the customer? Indeed. Sandy, I've told you confidentially about the opportunity mm -hmm. at uh, Westerways. Yeah. Uh, how does this role appeal to you and, and how does it fit in with your aspirations now? Oh, I think it's I think it's an exciting role because again Westerlies. I mean, I know the brand. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good, well-established West Country brand. Um, I'm passionate about West Country food. Mm -hmm. We sort of produce and grow some of the best food. You know, not a West Country man by by birth. Um, in this area, um, and um, and Westerlies ethics mm -hmm. um, um, fit in with um, the ethics I've always stood for in terms mm -hmm. of, of production. 
Yeah. Yes. 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 Now, I, I know when I, I forward your CV, it will show in there that you, you have um, vast experience in, in all, all areas of, of heading up a business, sales, production, operations, it's all there. Um, I'd like you to uh, single out for the, uh, for the sake of this uh, video snapshot um, uh, an outstanding achievement that uh, you're, you're very proud of. Um, <clears throat> well, I think one of the most exciting things I did was when I, when I set up Fresh and West mm -hmm. to um, serve all the Safeway stores throughout the southwest of England with um, a direct supply of fresh fish. Because that was such a different um, uh, way of supplying supermarkets to what it was established, um, um, and uh, you know credit must go to Safeway as well because they, they actually came on board with it and yeah. we worked very very closely. We set up completely new ordering systems, completely yeah. new pricing systems, delivery systems, training systems. Um, we were I don't know of any other supplier that was allowed to set the retail prices mm. um, but we were mm. and, and mm. it worked extremely well mm. and um, it was it, it worked well with Safeway I think because Safeway's attitude um, was slightly different from a lot of the other retailers at the time they were heavily into trying to um, go regional yeah. and this 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 was the this was the um, their achievement they, they got and yeah. if it wasn't for the fact that Safeway had disappeared in, into Morrison's, I think um, it would have, uh, we were up for some big national awards, but of course right. they were in the head as soon as <laughs> sure. Morrison's took sure. over. And, 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 fi and finally, Sam, you've got uh, a, a lot of um, documented evidence, haven't you, to um, show tangibly uh, some of your achievements and back up the, uh, the, the track record that's in front of me. Yes, um, my last three years at Young's, I was... Um, looking at primarily at developing the sales uh, the sales development within the fresh fish side yeah. um, and that was predominantly on, on the fish counters mm -hmm. for, for two years then because with fish counters um, the Sainsbury's where um, the turnover was 26 million on the counter with Young's and with Asda where we had 12 million turnover mm. um, but the Young's were under a lot of attack from competitors. Mm. The fish counters were performing badly, um, so I looked at ways, working very closely with Sainsbury's Master, of ways of improving their counter sales, um, the image, the marketing, the range, the mm. hardware, mm. training, logistics, ordering patterns, promotions, everything, mm. um, and came up with lots of recommendations because if we could improve their sales, we got the, the yeah. benefit as a company. And uh, with Sainsbury's, we identified £17 million win by just fixing a whole series of problems that they had in terms of the logistics, their ordering systems, right. um, the counter training, the range, um, yeah. the, the way they handle waste, uh, things like that. Brilliant. Okay. And that, was, that, that came to a head with a large presentation to all the senior directors of Sainsbury's. Um, London. And you know the Which number two. That's with Mike Coop, yeah. Yeah. Sandy, I'd like to thank you very much for this. Thank you.